give us each day is a novel, one of um, a trilogy, the first part of the trilogy um, that explores the story of Sheon Ajimobi, a nine-year-old boy who is living on the streets of Mizrata, Libya. His mother is in Nigeria and the story explores how he survives in Libya and the tension and conflict that he erupts when he tries to return home. Um, um, the idea came in 2017 while I was studying, I was, <laughs> I study, while I was serving in Ibadan. I encountered a beggar on the streets of Ibadan who had um, probably around the same age, if I remember correctly, who had not seen his parents for about four, four, four to five years. And I, I think I've always known that children live on the streets, but his own case was mind blowing and it hit a, it, it touched the button in my heart. And I didn't know how best to help than to write his story. And the, the, the longer I dwelt about it, the more I dwelt on it and prayed on it. Um, also around the same period, we we're, were doing a lot of um, prayers in my core member fellowship um, on Syria and a lot of the Arab rising. And the story sort of just clicked, like what would it be like to be a Nigerian child, not just living in the streets in Nigeria? What if this Nigerian child is estranged and living in the streets somewhere in a war-torn area like Libya? And that was how um, the idea for Give Us Each Day came and began exploring what it, what it would have been like, where he would have come from, um, what it would mean to live in, in Libya, um, different places that have been a- affected by the civil war there in Libya, and then um, creating tensions and conflicts to make the story a story rather than just like a news report. So that's where Give Us Each Day came. It's, it's part of a three-part story. Um, one side, uh, Give Us Each Day Explore Sheo, and book two es- explores a-, a woman in the story, Miriam, and then um, the third part is, um, explores another man, Mustafa. So the three parts to this, but this, this Give Us Each Day is about Sheo Najimobi, a nine-year-old protagonist. It has been a wonderful journey. Um, it has done wonders to motivate me as a writer and um i have been i have been engaged in a lot of literary projects since then both personally and collectively and i i am mindful mighty grateful to god and to kuramo for the opportunity um i never imagined i would win and i wasn't planning on winning but i i, I entered the competition for the basis of um, self-validation and the glory of God, the career path started. I don't know if there are words to describe the feeling. Um, I was in church um, and I got a message from a, from Tony Khan, a very respected writer who has been a great help to me to, in, during, since I got the award and I got a WhatsApp message from him during service and I was surprised that he was sending me a message by that time. But what got me curious was the first line of the word was congratulations. So I opened it and I saw a link to a blog and I just saw the the title of the blog alone made my heart leap. I I literally jumped up in church and people did not know why I was jumping up. But it's been exciting. It's it's something that um, six Maybe seven years ago, I dreamt about it. I fantasized about it. And to be here living the dream now and to know that um, uh, your work is among 11 of, uh, 11, of, of the, 11 of the best novels written in Nigeria, it's, it's, it's incredible. Um, I took a step out for NLNG in fit. Like, let's see what's going to happen. It's, it's a shift, literally. It's going to be a shift financially, one. Um, it also will give me an opportunity to get into um, uh, the field, uh, uh, 
that give us each day actually addresses. I have been passionate about um, children who live on the streets, um, um, people who have been um, entrapped by illegal in, um, migration and modern day slavery as we now know it. So it, it, I see money gives you options, gives you wings to do what you need to do. And also, uh, I have always wanted to do my master's in creative writing. So winning this prize is actually going to be uh, mind-blowing. And I know with the exposure that um, we've been getting so far, I can attest to that. And to, I think every other long-listed author will also attest to that. With the exposure we're getting so far, winning the prize would take the book far beyond um, the potentials that it, it already has. And I am excited for to see more people reading it. I'm excited to get more conversations about what the book has to say and how it can effect change in our society. So it's a dream come true and I'm waiting for the dream. <laughs>